Hello and welcome. It's another energy upgrade. So lovely lot. Get ready as we are going into the next month, into October. Another new moon is blessing us. And yes, energetically, there's quite a lot of things going on. But what is the message for us? You may not be able to hear, but we have rain today. Now, when your environment is burning and you have a lot of fires like we have here in the jungle of Peru, but not only in the jungle of Peru, also in the Andes, also in Bolivia, also in Brazil, you are very grateful for rain. And it's like you find another link to rain, to nature. Not just the common thing that, oh, it's raining today and the plants are getting some water. When you are connecting to the environment, to the fires, to whatever is going on, you can see that as a state of being, a fact of being, and that we call connectedness. And if you know me long enough, you know that connectedness is really one of my favorite words. The ness in general is often in a state of being or a fact of being. But of course, in our case here, it's also that, that link. We can feel it. We can, we can actually experience it in the, in the spiritual realms or mystic realms. And I will tell you more about that. But we can also feel it energetically. So connectedness is more than a connection. It's a state of being or a fact of being. And it is that amazing link that we feel with nature, with another, with a group of people, with the energy, with whatever we feel like it. So this week we are really invited to experience connectedness. Connectedness is not just an experience. An experience can take us into the state of being, but it's much more than that. So it's actually staying there. And this is of course what I call then the zenith presence, the zenith state. And Ramana Maharashi said it beautiful. It's all great when you have certain experiences in your meditation. But if you cannot focus your attention on this experience in your daily life, then it doesn't really make any sense. So what is your link? What is that connectedness, that relatedness, that special, special way of relating to nature, to another, to our current state, to the in or outside or the inside, yourself included. That is what the energy is bringing us this week. And yes, it's very exciting for me, not only because I love the word, but the energy is really, really amazing. And so another link in this connectedness that is important now and we feel that here. More people are coming together in community. And we are starting tomorrow a community called the Mystic Heart Circle that we're going to run every fortnight. And yes, our first topic is, of course, connectedness. So if you really want to know more experience, dialogue with us, get a beautiful meditation, of course, and a sharing and caring, then join us tomorrow. I put the link, of course, into the description. So what is that link? It's a community. The new earth, connectedness to new earth. It's a state of being. It's feeling this amazing link, this amazing bond, I even want to say. And what is important, it is never toxic. Connectedness cannot be toxic. Connectedness cannot be power over because it's equal parts and this connectedness is actually creating synergy. So as I got you a little bit on the mystic heart for tomorrow, 
the mystic connectedness is not about just one experience but a state of being connected to the divine so in addition or whatever because it's not about separation spirituality is more related to a path mystic can of course have a religious connotation but in my sense no and the mystic heart is definitely a very wild wise and free kind of connectedness and energy so let me take you on this sound bridge with my lang light language into the mystic heart because it's the mystic heart really that gives us this connectedness I'm very curious because obviously I can't give you everything but I'm sharing with you this amazing energy and as I'm connecting to the mystic heart and the connectedness with the mystic heart I'm including the magic of nature and this beautiful rain so let's tune in and see how this light language that is coming through can unlock this connectedness to our mystic heart Shalalay, 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 tirame yo. sense that connectedness that really takes you out of all that heaviness and busyness that you may be experiencing as connectedness is a sacred bond that exists in the energy and frequency of love and harmony so let me know in the comments join us for the mystic circle tomorrow or whenever you are called and be part of a community that celebrates and cultivates connectedness have a marvelous day have a fabulous week and keep me posted much love <laughs>